Hi, everybody, welcome back to Ender. Okay, so, uh, Chicky Chicky, check this out. Uh, I, many of you have been wondering, as I have been wondering myself, what the heck happens when you get to 100% arcane fever? Well, it says here you die, but I have my doubts, so we're gonna find out right now. Here we go 100%. I'm still standing. You succumb to arcane fever. Yeah, okay, there you go. The the riddle has been solved. That's what happens. When you get to 100 percent arcane fever. You die and it plays spooky music. Anyway, hi, welcome back to the Skyrims. Uh the old Kaiser of Zombles looks a bit different today. Because I've been playing this a bit off screen in my desperate search to find freaking Ambrosia, which turns out really hard to find and when you do find it quite expensive so that's a bummer um so i had to like travel all the way back to riverville to find some man it was the friggin worst anyway uh also i did a bunch of thievering off screen man like tons that's why i got a new helmet some new other new gears and a bit more money because uh turns out you need a lot of money in this game for this mod or Whatever, man. So yeah, pretty much going full-blown thieving scoundrel for this shiz. You know what I'm saying, man? Anyway, <laughs> let's get back to the task at hand, shall we? We need to speak with this man. You, you, this ma is Holy Magister Grand. Raggin. Walk blast. You, you Raggin. You Raggin on people. Is that how you got that name? You rag on people all the time. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a dumb joke. It's a stupid joke. Is there a problem? Oh yes. Guess what? There is. Some people just don't get the meaning of the word reliability. Uh, right. I'm sure you're about to tell me why. Huh. Yeah, you're it's... not from the Order, are you? Then I wonder what the blazes you're doing here. But, fine. Who am I to reject a helping hand? Elia, the novice who was assigned to me. She's supposed to help me transcribe these Pyrian tomes the Grand Master is so obsessed about. But two days ago, she simply vanished. If I were to guess, I'd say she's strolling around enjoying herself somewhere in the nobles' quarter. I'd go look myself, but I'm lucky if I get to breathe within all this work. Go find her, and tell her to get her bloody ass up here and help me. If you do that, it won't be to your disadvantage. I see what you're saying, sir. Why are we searching for Elia? Why are we even helping this guy? Yes. Yeah, the plot is kind of lost on me. I'm not gonna lie. I have no idea what's going on in this mod. As far as I can tell, uh, we started the game, we got some new abilities, and then we started getting arcane fever and we're like, THIS SUCKS! So we hooked up with these magic dudes, and they are all like, oh, we can help you fix that, except they didn't fix it. They just made us slightly less shitty, and now we're indebted to them, I guess. So we gotta do them solids is now, grand. right? Is that the plot of you this mod so here. far? I have no fucking idea. It's not very straightforward now, is it? No, not like Skyrim. Skyrim's like, hey, check it out, you're the Dove King, go kill that fucking asshole Alduin, huh? I'm like, okay, I can get with that. Like, is there a bad guy in this mod, or is there like, I don't know, a group of bad guys that we need to kick ass upon? I'm not entirely sure. As far as I can tell, the bad guys are just bandits that are fucking everywhere which by the way doesn't make a whole lot of sense why would banditry be such a big thing in a world where it appears the economy it seems to be doing just fine you know you know it just seems like the, the people are pretty well off in the land of enderal why would you resort to thievery i don't know but there's friggin bandits and robbers everywhere I don't know. I can't say one way or the other. I'm going to the bathhouse. I I'm not sure why. <laughs> I, I think the lady's in here. I'm just probably saying that because uh, I, I've never been anywhere else in this mod in the nobles' quarter. Anyway, are you Elia? You're a Mira. Are you Elia? Apprentice Avira. Maybe you know about an Elia. Oh, um, you're an Outlander, aren't you? From Kira, your skin, it looks, um, 
different. Wow, that's not racist at all. Oh, apparently, okay. Farewell. All these people hmm? say the same thing. Is Hello, it important? Selena. Uh, okay, we should not be fucking around like an idiot and actually just, you know, find the lady <clears throat> instead of looking around, wasting everyone's time. Okay, so I'm gonna go find hey, it. Hey, so it's fun story, kids. I've been playing this shit for like an hour straight, and I can't find this lady. And I don't even know if it's the main storyline, so I'll tell you what. We're just gonna go hang out with Jesper, I guess. I figure Walk he, blessed, like, works for these magic he jerks, stands. right? He you should, I don't it. know, mm -hmm. maybe right, have some kind of Hello. information for us, right? Maybe, or maybe the lady's in here, who knows? The quest hey, text you came. said... Come on, take a seat. Oh, yeah, okay, sure. The quest text said, quest text so, said that she was going to be in the Nova's quarter. Or the Barrett's quarter. It looked everywhere. Yesterday, a refugee anything. from another country. Oh, hi. Now, a prodigy with a magic great enough to impress old Bushybeard. Uh, sure. Yeah. Um, I'm still trying to make sense of all this. Good luck with that. Yeah, thanks. I'm quite curious to see how things keep on with you. You're different. I noticed that the time we met. Are you? Anyhow, tell me. Fresh with me. What do you make of this country now that you've had some time to look around? I figure it must be quite the change from Narim. Uh, it's filled with bandits and I don't know why. Shoot. Oh, yeah, I just told you. It's filled with bandits and I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, I can picture that. Yeah, sure. You know, this is exactly the reason why I love inns so much. The sky can rain fire out there. In here, you'll always meet laughter and good humor. Not to mention all the good-looking men and women. Oh! Oh, Jesper. Oh, I didn't realize you swung that way. Okay. <laughs> ah, yes. A richly set table indeed. Absolutely. Though I think I've seen enough of this place by now. Of Enderall, I mean. There's a ship sailing for Kilae next morning. And as it seems, it will be the last one for quite some time to come. Who knows? Maybe they still have a cabin to spare for a handsome treasure hunter. Right, so you're getting out of here then. We'll see ya. <laughs> oh well. This entire thing was more a coincidence than planned anyhow. The Order needed someone with skill and discretion. I was around. End of story. I never intended to stick around for much longer. Heck, <laughs> me as an ambassador of the Holy Order? Could you imagine that? Not one step further, O oh fair maiden. Drop your garments so we may both bathe in Malthus's holy light. Hmm. <laughs> Actually not that bad, don't you think? I have no idea what you just said, man. <laughs> well, what good is a frown anyway? What matters are results, not attitudes or intentions. What does the wise hermit say? Nothing is of less importance to the saved than the reason for their rescue. The only difference between a mercenary like me and a holy warden is that I'm at least aware of the fact that I do what I do for myself and no one else. Uh Jasper, listen, you seem like a swell guy and all, but I'm just fantastically bored by this entire conversation. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to say that all those heroes and self-declared messiahs are no better than everyone else. In the end, we are all selfish. Because we always act in accordance to what we think we have to be like. So yes, maybe the Keeper saves the farmer from the bandits. But at the end of the day, he does it because he sees himself in a certain light. <laughs> you know... The funny thing is, that a lot of times, it's especially those who think of themselves driven by a higher purpose who are the really dangerous ones. They don't understand what drives them, and that makes them easy to manipulate. The only thing left to do for the capable hate monger or tyrant is to somehow combine his own ambitions with the mental image of this person. And presto, you've got your perfect puppet, only waiting to dive into the next hail of arrows for their honor, their religion, or whatever they thought of this time. It's just so idiotic, you know? You're on a slippery slope, my friend. The world would be friend. a much better place if everyone could just acknowledge that the only reason we're here is that we want to be happy. Oh, it seems you're still talking, but words are not coming out of your mouth. Okay. <laughs> sure. Uh, I don't know, but to me, seeing the world like that just seems kind of empty, man. If you say so. In any case, what is empty is my glass of wine, which is why I'll take my leave now. I very much enjoyed our talk, but the ship to Kile leaves before the first cock's crow tomorrow, and I want some more time to think about it. Right, you say our talk. I didn't do much talking, man. Uh, whatever. The city needs more good-looking mercenaries. What? Why am I getting fresh with Jesper? Do that. Later.
Keep your chin up. Right, whatever. Where are you put so that? that's it, huh? Okay. Huh. <laughs> what was the point of that? I don't even know. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Well. Huh. It seems. Right. Hmm. <laughs> Bit of a loss here, friends. Kind of at a loss. And I'm thinking. I don't know where this lady is. I have absolutely no fucking oh, idea. Fuck. Maybe that was some sort of sequence trigger or something. Me talking to old Jesper, man. I, I don't know. But uh, I think I just have to play this off screen and look for this lady. Unless this is her! Walk blessed. Ella. I'm looking for Elia. God damn it! <laughs> Alright, anyway, yeah, I'm gonna play My this off screen. Sir. If this episode is delayed, it's because oh. I can't find this damn lady, okay? Mm -hmm. So, um, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, um, give me a sec. Guys, I figured it out and I totally had to kind of look at a walkthrough to figure it out. I forgot we were supposed to tell this guy about our progress. Yeah, okay. My bad. Listen, okay. Um, I, I, I don't pay attention sometimes, so, uh, I, I apologize. You have my utmost attention, Constantine Fire Spark. Th that lady you sent me to see. She has quite the potty mouth, by the way. Um, also, she performed a ritual on me. It was pretty hot. Yes, I know. She's already told me everything. Good work. Even though part of her report seemed to be a bit... enthusiastic. But I'll leave the judgment to Aranthiel. He wants to talk to you anyway. Seems you've caught his interest. Uh, Aranthiel? What? Who is Aranthiel? Didn't I tell you that already? He's the highly esteemed, holy, grand master of the order. Tilo Aranthial, son of Lorius I, praised be his name. An old legend, risen from the dead, or something like that. Right, okay. Uh, I'm not sure if I want to be part of this, but where can I find him? In the Emporium. The last building on the left side of the temple. Just tell the guard that Aranthiel has asked for you, and they will let you in. Ah yes, before I forget, my dame Lucy has left a token of gratitude for you. It's your choice. Do you want a book, an old map, or a bag of pennies? What? Oh, it's a treasure map! Oh! Oh, or 150 pennies? But the treasure map could be millions! Or the book, two learning points. Uh, that's not bad either. Except I, I'm pretty sure I have excess learning points right now that I don't have enough money to uh, use. Money is a big thing in this mod I've mentioned before. I want the treasure map. Very well. Now get a move on. Oh my God! Treasure. I'm sure we'll talk again later. Uh, if you don't know this about Grim, he's an enthusiastic treasure hunter. <laughs> well, not really. Oh my god, oh my god, story time, buckling kids. Everybody, get the family uh, around, we're not, telling the no. story now, okay. Um, I wonder so, one time, Grim used to be in the Cub Scouts, if you did not know that. And there was this badge, like a scavenger hunter badge or something, I, I don't know, man. Some kind of scavenger hunter badge, and, uh, freaking, yeah, we just went on a scavenger hunt. And it was excellent! I think the prizes were candy or something in the treasure, if you found it. But, um, so it doesn't sound that cool. But the adventure! It was such a grand adventure! Is this the way? Hold on, I'm gonna look at my map real quick. Uh, local? See, Grandmaster, what's his face in the Emporium? Oh, why is he around the back? Whatever. I don't care. Hi! Met. Hello! Keeper? Are you a woman? Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, uh, huh, you are quite- Huh, notorious prodigy. I was yes, told need something? Sure, okay, I'm just not gonna talk to you anymore. <laughs> When your opening line is, are you a woman, huh? you know you're done you goofed in the you whole conversation. Oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Hey, here's a guy I gotta talk to, right? Hi, Tealor. We need to find oh, out who sent the mercenaries. Okay, shh. Everybody this shut up. Pig asked said that they were after the Signet Stone, and if they succeed in getting hold of it next time, then the Black Guardian alone knows how to stop the cycle. The cycle. Listening to you talk almost makes me forget that all this fuss here is merely based on some bad dreams you and your Neremese friends had. Oh, the threat is real. Deny it as much as you like, but...
but deep inside, you feel it as much as I do. Tila, this... You're a commander, and a commander doesn't care about feelings, but about facts. You have made this mistake before, Tilor, back then in Kira, and Natara, we all know... the mission will happen. I'm sorry. You have a visitor. Hi! I've been standing so, on your table this you whole time. Prodigy, Surprised you haven't noticed is me. talking about. Interesting. Yes, right. I am Tila Aranthia, son of Lorius I and Grand Master of the Order. And I'm honored to meet you. What is your name? I'm the Kaiser of Zombles. What's up? Yes, and I will come straight to the point. You are here because I believe that you are special. Humanity faces a threat that needs to be stopped. And to achieve this, you are indispensable. Oh, please tell me you want me to slay an archfiend. Among other things, yes. I do not need to explain to you that the present situation on Vin is chaotic. The wars, the living dead, common people who are losing their minds, to name only the most obvious. What most people are not aware of is the connection between these events. You, however, have encountered it, as have I. What are you talking about? I do. And I will explain everything to you. What it means, who we are, and what your part in all of this is. Come, follow me. Oh my god, it's so Maybe time, you isn't already it? know who I am. My entire life I served the gods who ruled Vin until their death two years ago. What you probably do not know is that the one responsible for their death is my son, Narazul Aranthia. Is he a bad guy? He hated the Lightborn because he believed that they robbed mankind of their right to freedom. So he strived to overthrow them. He found followers, formed an army and declared war on them. And thus on me, a servant of the Lightborn as well. It all ended in a battle 30 years ago which Narazul won. He killed every single survivor except for me, and locked me in a dungeon on Nerim. I still do not know why he spared me. Maybe it's because you're his dad? I don't know. Maybe he still had a soft spot for you. Or whatever. I, I don't know anything about this Lightborn shit. So any question I ask, I'll be completely lost on. But you managed to free yourself! Yes, after more than 30 years. When the death of the gods made the magic around the prison disappear. And during my escape in the northern mountains of Nerim, I also had them for the first time. The dreams. The dreams? Are you talking about that creepy shit that I saw? Where, like, my dad was, like, all pissed off that I killed him and stuff? Yeah? That kind of dream? You I have that kind of dream too, buddy? I always glaring, terrible light. Heard screaming. And I felt like I was burning up from the inside. And above all, like a veil, there was the knowledge of imminence. At first, of course, I dismissed these dreams as the delusion of a man close to death. So I concentrated on making it through the mountains somehow. Two days after my escape, I was completely exhausted. And I would have died if a former acolyte of my son had not found me. An acolyte of your son, but weren't they your enemy then? Yes, but he did not recognize me, and brought me to their headquarters instead, an old monastery in the mountains. The others were aware of my identity, but for whatever reason they did not kill me. Maybe because they thought that the death of the Lightborn had made me insignificant. I do not know. Still, even after my recovery, the dreams continued. At first, I doubted my sanity, but after some time, I told the leader of the mages, Constantine, about them. And he said something that I'd never expected. I was not alone. He, as well as many others magically gifted on Vin, dreamed the same dreams. And the more we talked about the matter, the stronger our suspicion grew, which has now turned out to be the truth. What was the suspicion that you speak of, man? Why are all these other people having the same dream? Is it like, I don't reference movie where people have the same dream here? There's movies like that, the right? dreams, they come from the same place. They are a shared memory. A what? How can that be? A collective subconscious, yes. 
I know that you can feel it too, and probably far more intense than we do. But like you back then, we were not able to make sense of the images. So we went looking for answers. In the remains of the civilization that was before us, the Pyreans. What? You lost me. Three things. First, there were many civilizations before us and before the Pyreans. Maybe hundreds, maybe thousands. Second, the history of each civilization unfolded and still unfolds according to a pattern. They emerge, they blossom, and at some point, at the apex of their existence, they simply disappear without any trace. And third, everything that has happened in the past years and which is still happening indicates that this disappearance lies ahead of us. We are part of an eternal loop, a cycle, and our cycle is approaching its end. Gasp! What does this mean? Yes, it does. At first we considered it absurd, as probably you do at this moment. But there came a moment when we simply could not deny it anymore. We began to study the history of the Pyreans more intensely, and the parallels were extraordinary. In its early days, the Pyrian Empire was split up by a disaster, just like Vin was split up by the Starfall after the reign of the Eterna. Also, the Pyreans had a ruling caste who declared themselves gods after the catastrophe. The two castes of the Sun Priest. They, too, ruled until they were overthrown. This overthrowing was followed by an outbreak of wars and chaos. And then, just like that, the Pyreans ceased to exist. They knew it was imminent, but they could not prevent it. They called this event the Cleansing. What? You lost? What? I got a space out there. What's going on? Well, this is the reason why we need your help. Not only episodes of history recur within every cycle, characters do as well. S characters? Yes. The Pyreans call them the Emissaries. They emerge very shortly before the cleansing occurs, like a law of nature, an answer to the Red Madness. And I am one of them. As are you. While I take on the role of the ruler, you take on the role of the prophet. Wait, what? I'm prophet? This is when? It's just a description. Call it what you will. But without doubt, it is the truth. Your story matches the descriptions perfectly. Okay, so, um, let me, let me get this straight here. So, like, there's a bunch of civilizations that happened before, and all the same crap happens right before the civilization gets wiped off the map, right? It's like people go crazy, and then people start emerging, they have the same story, and then stuff happens, right? Am I, am I getting this, right? On the one hand, your power. You carry the potential to master any skill within a fraction of the usual time needed. I assume you have already realized this. On the other hand, your ability to look into the past, and therefore, into the future. Wait, wait, oh yeah, since everything happens over and over again, if you can see what happened before, you know it'll happen in the future. I get it! Your visions are a window into the past. And as every cycle is based on the same events, it is a window into the future as well. You can feel the thread this world is woven with. And because of that, you can see things that have happened, and thus will happen again. This gift makes you indispensable to us, and it is why I want your help. Okay, what if this is really boring and I want to do it? Hollow words. <laughs> Deep inside, you know your responsibility. Trust me, we are more alike than you believe. Right, right, whatever, if you say so, pal. Okay, I'll do it. What do you want me to do? Good. However, there's one more thing before the actual work begins. I want you to join our order, and to do so, you have to pass a test. A trial. Okay, what kind of test? It is the trial the novices have to pass in order to be exalted to the role of a keeper. Only the best students of the squalor are allowed admission, 
and even though you have not been a novice, I want you to take it too. At this very moment, two novices are on their way to the testing grounds. I have informed them about your arrival. B okay, who are these two nerds? I have only a slight acquaintance with them. However, I know that they are both very talented and have been working hard toward the test. But see them for yourself. B okay, where can I find them? At the border to the heartland, near the Whisper Wood. They will be waiting for you there. Take the Myret. Talk to Signet Master Bartar and hand him this package, and then follow his orders. Ah, oh, one more thing. It might be self-evident, but keep your knowledge about the death of the Lightborn to yourself. I do not believe you can do any real harm, but in the worst case, path-abiding people will consider you a heretic. After the cycle has been stopped, we will deliberate upon how we deal with the matter, if and how we tell our people about it. But not now, that is for sure. Now, leave. The sooner we can dispense with this formality, the better. Right, I was bored anyway, man. Okay, can I leave now? I, I really want to leave now. Okay, <sighs> bye, dude. See you later. Have fun.